Today is the feast of the evangelist Saint Mark. Almost every scholar today will regard the Gospel of Mark as the first Gospel to be written in around the year 65 CE or Common Era, about 30 years or so after the resurrection of Jesus. It is the shortest of the four Gospels. It is a Gospel which is really special because the basic thesis of Mark is that Jesus becomes Son of God through his suffering, through his death, through his being laid in the tomb and through his rising again. In Mark, Jesus is very, very clearly the suffering Messiah and he wants everyone to know that he is not the glorious Messiah first, but he becomes the glorious Messiah by being the suffering Messiah. As a matter of fact, right at the beginning of the Gospel of Mark, in the scene of the baptism, chapter 1, verses 9 to 11, the voice from heaven invites Jesus through two Old Testament texts to his mission. And the two Old Testament texts are from Psalm 2, verse 7, which says, You are my beloved son. The second part of the quotation, the second part of what the vice says from heaven is from Isaiah 42, 1, which continues, In you I am well pleased, or in you my soul delights. The entire verse reads, You are my beloved son, in you I am well pleased. What does this quotation from two separate Old Testament texts brought together indicate? It indicates that on the one hand, Jesus is king. And the reason why I say Jesus is king, because Psalm 2, from which this quotation is taken, is a coronation psalm. It was a psalm which was sung by the people when the king was ascending the throne. So it has to do with kingship, it has to do with the crown of gold, it has to do with authority, it has to do with the throne. The second part, Isaiah 42 is the first song of the suffering servant. Behold my servant, God says, Behold my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one, in whom my soul delights. And so it has to do with suffering, it has to do with trial, it has to do with the crown, yes, but a form. It has to do with reaching out in giving, 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 until one can give no more, and then to keep giving. So this invitation which the Father issues to Jesus through the vice from heaven is that Jesus be king servant. That Jesus be servant king. That Jesus be king who becomes king by being servant. That Jesus be king who becomes king only by being servant. In other words, there is no other way. And because Jesus accepts this invitation from the Father, whenever there is the possibility that people will acclaim him, like when he works some miracles, like when he feeds the 5,000, when he feeds the 4,000, when he raises Jairus' daughter, these are stupendous miracles. He commands his disciples and the people not to tell anyone. 
that is known in Mark as the command to silence because Jesus did not want to be known as a glorious Messiah, as a wonder-working Messiah, as a miracle-working Messiah. He wanted to be known as the suffering Messiah. And that is why after he begins proclaiming about his passion, death and resurrection, Jesus never gives a command to silence. Because if people were to speak about this, that Jesus is the Messiah, who gave his body to be broken and his blood to be shed and because he dared to die on the cross became God's only son. That would be the message of Mark. The gospel text for the feast is taken from the latter ending of the gospel of Mark that is known as the longer ending. Mark chapter 16 verses 15 to 20. And in these verses, Mark speaks about how a disciple of Jesus will respond to the world. And the one word which summarizes all that the disciple will do is the word faith. Faith in the Lord. And another word which can be translated as faith is faith shown in action through the reaching out to one's neighbor. On this feast of St. Mark, we reflect not so much on Mark, but on his gospel and his portrayal of Jesus. And we ask that through the intercession of Mark, we too might assimilate from our Lord the gift of faith that Mark received and acting out our faith through our love like Jesus did before us and like Mark did in imitation of him. A happy feast of Saint Mark to everyone.